Welcome to our Sankofa series. Today's episode is about weeding and we will have Kalia and Tamara teaching us how to weed and they are two of our veteran students. So how about y'all take it over? Hi, so I'm Tamara as they said um, and yes, we will be teaching about weeding. So now when you're dealing with weeding, um, here at Sankofa we have a term called wild plant um, and wild plants refer to weeds. So we call them wild plants because many of our weeds here can be used for medicinal purposes. It could be used for um, any type of skin care or any type of herb, herbs and other cultures. But here we don't need them, so that's why they're called wild plants. Yes, and some wild plants that you may or may not recognize could be mugwort, plantain leaf, and crabgrass. Yes. How exactly would you properly weed these wild plants? That's a good question. Let's show you. Okay, so here we have curly kale, um, and these are all the wild plants that are around it. So when you're weeding, um, you want to make sure you differentiate the plant and also the weed. Um, so whether you have a picture of what you're weeding or you have an instructor who's telling you. So when you do that, when you differentiate the both, you want to make sure you pull all the weeds from around the plant. Now, there's a lot of, you know, Heart weeds, so just be careful. So you want to make sure you do that. Now, if you pull a weed that has a lot of soil um, on the bottom, just make sure you tap it back in there so we won't waste that good soil. And fun fact, well, wild plants can also be used as a mulch um, because it dries from the sun. So you just put it on top when you're done pulling it out and it protects the soil. 